You're listening to Manx Radio and I'm Judith Lay welcoming you to the podcast of Today at the Guild, results and winning performances from the 2022 Manx Music, Speech and Dance Festival. Manx Radio's coverage of the Manx Music Festival is brought to you with Spectrum Windows. Find them on Facebook or spectrumwindows.in. in the morning before the Easter Sunday service and Santuzza is explaining all her feelings to her mother. Santuzza had a lovely friend called Lola and she was betrothed in marriage to Turidu who left and went to the war. Now when he returned, Lola had married his best friend. So he turned to a new love. He turned to Santuzza and she loved him passionately. But Lola became jealous and he decided to take him for a lover. So now Santuzza has nothing, no friend, no wonderful, passionate love, and she's dishonoured, and she can never go to church again. You are listening to the voice of Karen Elliott. Karen, who is no stranger to the Cleveland Medal Test, Karen has six Cleveland medals to her credit. She was introducing there her chosen piece, Voi la Sapete, from the opera Cavaliera Rusticana. Karen is going to sing for you now. Her accompanist is Madeline Kelly. Oh, mama, 
accompanied by Madeline Kelly. That was Karen Elliott with their Voy la Sapete from the opera Cavaliera Rusticana. Now, Karen won her first Cleveland medal in 1993, and uh, she still has an incredibly good voice. So, did Karen take home medal number seven? She did not. Despite the fine singing, she did not. The person who took home his third Cleveland medal and who has said that he will not be competing for the Cleveland medal again, was a very, very popular entertainer. He's going to introduce his own piece of music. It's the winner of the Cleveland medal test for 2022. It is the wonderful Paul Costain. In Mozart's opera Don Giovanni, Leporello, Don Giovanni's servant, has kept a list, a catalogue, of all his master's sexual conquests. Across Europe, they total 2,065. <laughs> Women of every age, shape, and size. In the winter, he likes them plump. In the summer, he prefers them thin. If she wears a skirt, you know what's on his mind. Madamina, il catalogo è questo, delle belle che ho padron mio, un catalogo che ho fatto oh, osservate, leggete con me, osservate, leggete con me. In Italia 640. Cento in Francia, Turchia non ventuna, ma in Spagna, ma in Spagna son già mille tre.
Lapicina, 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 in your red scosa, in your red scosa, in your red scosa. Passione premadante, e il giovane principiante. Non so chi, che se sia ricca, se sia brutta, se sia bella, se sia ricca, brutta, se sia bella. Stain, winner of the Cleveland Medal Test for this year. And he puts his heart and soul into his performance, doesn't he? He was accompanied there by Graham Kirkland. And after he'd received his medal, he paid full tribute to his music teacher, Mrs. Eleanor Shimon. He said, you know, it's really her medal. Gives her so much credit for all the help and support and encouragement that she gives him. This was his third medal and he won in 2016 and 2018. And he said, no more. No more. He said he will continue to go into other classes in the Guild, but this is the last time that he will go into the qualifying classes for the Cleveland medal test. But I would say that he stepped aside from that in fine voice, hasn't he? What a wonderful performance. The winner of the Cleveland medal for 2022, Paul Costain, accompanied there by Graham Kirkland. Now we move on to some different music but music I know you're absolutely going to love. These are winning performances from the classes yesterday where we had some very, very talented young people, solo singing and choirs, and some very talented grown-ups as well. Coming up right after this break. The Nation Station makes way. Manx Radio's coverage of the Manx Music Festival is brought to you with Spectrum Windows. Find them on Facebook or spectrumwindows.im. So having listened to the two big winners, the Sheffield Plate winner and the Cleveland Medal Test and all the other contenders for those two high awards, let's catch up on things that were happening in the Royal Hall and the Promenade Suite yesterday, the final day of the Guild. And uh, the class for the songs from the musicals has, has for many years been very, very popular with adults, growing in its popularity, in fact. It's a, it's a real sort of high point of the Guild Week, the evening when it's the songs from the shows. But it's proving equally popular for our young singers. 
And um, there's a class that was held yesterday for songs from the musicals for 8 to 13 year olds. Now, it's important to bear that age range in mind when you listen to the class winner. So this is a class for 8 to 13 year olds, young singers. And the class was won by Joshua Mooney and he had 90 marks. His choice was Electricity from Billy Elliot. And this song comes in the musical at the point where Billy is asked what it feels like when he dances. Listen now to class winning performance from Joshua Mooney singing Electricity. That terrific! It was just a brilliant, brilliant performance there from Joshua Mooney, accompanied by Madeline Kelly, and he sang "Electricity" from Billy Elliot. There were, incidentally, thirty-eight young people took part in that class, and uh, Joshua took top honours there with ninety marks. I can't help but wonder if he's related to Lois Mooney because uh, Lois, who's gone away now to pursue her professional career, she's um, getting more training across, but uh, she, as a youngster, was very, very talented and and, and showed that talent from from a very early age. And uh, I wonder if they're the same family. Strongly suspect that they might be. Right, now, here's something else that you're going to enjoy. A group this time who were given 90 marks for their performance. And we know are skilled veterans that 90 marks are not given readily that is something that's that's highly prized this was for the ensemble groups but again this is um this is a group that they, there's an age limit on it and this one is for up to age 18 platform vocal ensemble were the ones who got 90 marks and their choice was a million dreams this is platform vocal ensemble
And as you can hear, that was very well received in the Royal Hall in the Villa last night. Platform Vocal Ensemble and A Million Dreams from The Greatest Showman. And that was for ensembles up to age 18. 90 marks were awarded for that performance. And now, Sundown is going back to the Guild and uh, we are again bringing you some winning performances from the competitions yesterday, the final day of the Guild. And we're going to go now to the class for school choirs with schools with under 150 children on the register. And the winners were Quaig School and we're going to hear two songs. First of all, Child of Song. This is Quaig School. Swimming singing there from Quaig School.
Quake School. And they were the class winners for schools under 150 on the register, the smaller schools. Manx Radio's coverage of the Manx Music Festival is brought to you with Spectrum Windows. Find them on Facebook or spectrumwindows.im. And for the last time, we'll be covering this year's Manx Music Festival. And it has been a wonderful festival. And my thanks to everybody who has made it so. Everyone who took part, all the competitors, their teachers, the accompanists, the adjudicators pay tribute all the time to teachers and accompanists, the skill of the accompanists and the teachers who encourage the pupils and the parents as well, because without you there would be no guild. And it is great that we're back. I think it was, true to say, a slightly tentative start. There weren't quite as many competitors in the classes, weren't quite as many spectators in the hall. But I think we will pick up. We will pick up as the time goes on, as we all regain our confidence and remember how much we enjoy being together. The Buchan School Choir, they uh, took honours in the mixed choir class for children up to seven years old. So we're listening to very young voices here. And this is the winning performance, a part of the winning performance from Buchan School Choir. I should say that there's a lot more music that I can and will play for you. And the Guild will be featuring in our local music spot on sundown for many, many, many weeks. So it, this is just an overview of everything that went on, but we will continue to play music from the Guild for, all oh, ages. Let's listen now. Very young choir from the Buchan School. As I say, mixed choirs here up to age seven. It's the Buchan Choir and One Little Voice. Try to make this world a 
And that beautiful, beautifully sung and a lovely song, One Little Voice. That was the very young voices of the Buchan School mixed choir up to seven years old. Manx Voices had a brilliant day yesterday. They won two classes, a female voice choirs class, and they also won the concert class. And they won the concert class in fine style with 92 marks. We're going to hear two songs from them. But I did just want to mention a, a couple of things about the concert class, which was really very special in a way yesterday because the Isle of Man Government Staff Choir took part. And I think it's just they were the the adjudicator Stephen Roberts was full of praise for them because they are a workplace choir there are no rules in a workplace choir anybody is welcome there's no difficult auditions or whatever it is it's meant to be therapeutic it's relaxing it 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 just happens in a lunchtime and so for a workplace choir to come into a competition and they sang beautifully and they got 87 marks and uh, Cleogory Tui were there and I was a little bit sad to talk to the wonderful Claire Kilgallen at the end and because they, they sang beautifully but the other thing was they got everybody else singing they sang things with choruses and Claire turned around from conducting the choir and she was conducting us and getting us all singing along and it, it was just a great happy experience and then Claire said well she said I think we're going to be finishing you know she said uh, we are 39 years old I couldn't believe that 39 years old and but all the joy that they've given us with their music in that time so Cleogory Tui thank you for that and thank you for joining in the concert class because in a way it was a celebration of their music and there was Musicale under their new director John Riley has retired now and um so Judy Cross was there conducting them. Fine job. And they sang beautifully. They got 89 marks. But just sneaking ahead there with 92, it was uh, Manx Voices, directed by Angela Stewart. And their accompanist is Julie Brew. Let's listen to them now. imaginative arrangement there of the familiar hymn Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven. Let's hear one more piece of music from the class-winning Manx Voices with musical director Angela Stewart and accompanist Julie Brew. This is the Lake Isle of Innisfree.
there we end our coverage of this year's Manx Music Festival. But I will continue to play winning performances for you throughout the year, as long as I can make the music last for here. And the spoken word, lots of things to share still from this year's Guild. And we'll do that on our local music spot on sundown, round about a quarter to 11 each week. And there's just one person that I have to pay a huge tribute to now, and that is my recording engineer, Tim Price. Without Tim's help, his skill, his hard, hard work, I would be nothing at all. Tim, you are the best. Manx Radio coverage of the Manx Music Festival is brought to you with Spectrum Windows. Find them on Facebook or spectrumwindows.im. Station.